what's going on is uh, we're actually fetching water uh, for the vaccination. And as I advised you, I want you guys to be able to see the source of the water. It's actually straight from our roof. So that means this is rainwater. And we need to understand that um, it's essential to utilize only rainwater or distilled water if you're giving your chicken vaccine. This is because um, if you're going to use tap water, it's not effective as tap water contains some element of proline, which kind of makes your vaccine less powerful as it is supposed to. So um, we have our rainwater just right there. So of course we have uh, several drinkers. So this is what we call uh, chicks drinkers and we are going to spread our vaccine water just across uh, enough drinkers uh, so that we can be able to serve as many birds as possible. So let's do this. So uh, the next step involves uh, opening of the vaccine and as I communicated to you guys I got this vaccine uh, from our local vet and of course the agro vet suppliers and it actually comes in uh, with what we call well that's supposed to be uh, ice So yeah, that's how you open it, it's, uh, it's usually sealed and uh, the next part is just removing it. Uh, you just need to be careful with the knife so you don't hurt yourself. So guys, um, this is usually the process and I just love every detail and of course this is our first vaccination and we are administering Newcastle vaccine. So this is usually administered within the first days of life and of course it prevents uh, the spread of Newcastle. So we've just got in some new water so you just got it in and then you shake it well and uh, once you do you just drop it outside That is the other dosage. Um, as I mentioned, we have 547 birds, um, and you can only buy a vaccine with the dose. The limited one, I think, is 100. So we actually bought for 500 dose and for 100. That gives us a total for 600 doses. So yeah, this is what you do during the vaccination process. So of course this we are going to make sure we have uh, enough drinkers
so our birds have been waiting for close to one hour and they've also been feeding and you can also be able to see how beautiful the whole scene is however all is not well and i know you're wondering why is that the case so apparently they are very very thirsty birds consume a lot of water and if you withdraw water for sometimes they all become thirsty just like human beings but now this is why we said it's so important when you're doing your vaccination so we are just ready to administer the vaccine and you're going to see the scramble for water or what they used to say the scramble for partition for Africa but now for our case it's for water so our farm manager is just going to go in and as usual I uh, will just be standby seeing if there's any help to help or as we touch at the moment so be careful so they are very anxious you see that right and they are all following him because they know he got the water see uh, uh, bad news that's what happened just be careful Kashindo place another one just right there Whoa. I told you guys, you see now, uh, just be a little bit faster. That's the action. And when you're administering your vaccine, you definitely want that to happen. So uh, the thing is, you try uh, to make sure that they have enough water as possible during season. So these ones, oh, we need to rescue them. Shh. Hey guys, it's fine. That's a big high for them, but they can still find their way. You'll be amazed by how the birds can stretch, but it's not advisable because all of them cannot be able to find it. So what happened for big ones, Kashindo, you get, you make sure that their stand goes a little bit chin. To vaccinate your birds, they actually forgot about the feed, and now they were able to go to um, be able to fetch for the water. But our goal and our purpose for this moment was to ensure that they could be able to get as much uh, or as any drop as possible, because that drop is going to be a life savior at some moment in the future.
We are almost done with the vaccination process and the next step, it's actually very crucial and as you guys you can be able to see is uh, we are going to now uh, administer, actually just give uh, fresh water with some aspect of chick start. Now this was recommended by uh, the vet, I just want to zoom and uh, you can now be able to see it just right there. It was recommended by the vet because chick starts tends to contain an element which gives the chicks energy. Now remember, when you introduce the vaccine, you have actually introduced in uh, another level or you're giving your something new to the chicks which now brings in another form of stress so at this moment we can just say our birds are stressed now the best way to ensure that they go back to their normal activities and of course the productivity is to give in the chick start so uh, we are going to give our usual dosage so uh, for 10 liters we usually uh, give uh, just four teaspoons um, again this is just as recommended by the vet now this dust you're seeing contains a lot of energy for our birds and since our birds have been under a lot of pressure we just need to administer this so every time you administer a vaccine you can always try to ensure that you also let alone introduce in another source of energy for your birds. Obviously. We want to make sure that our chick start is well dissolved. So obviously we have improvised and uh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, what will happen now is um, once after a few uh, minutes, maybe another 15 minutes have elapsed, we are going to remove all the drinkers as you can be able to uh, save them. And uh, we will now uh, fill these drinkers with uh, what you've just seen here, water containing element of chick start. And uh, yeah, that way uh, you'll be uh, assured that your birds are safe. And also remember, other than vaccinations, we have been talking about the biosecurity issues. So uh, always when you're going to the coop, have your gambut in, especially the brooding space. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I feel uh, this is very crucial info. And uh, other than that, it's just feeding, ensuring the heat source is enough and uh, the brooding is going to go along well. Now, I know most of you will be asking, how do you know the kind of dosage to give to your birds? Now, the answer lies with your vet. Every time you bring in a new flock, it's essential to work closely with your local vet, inform them, and they will be best suited to tell you, hey, you need 100 doses, you need 200, you need 500, you need 1,000 doses. They will be, they will be able to give this insight and then also uh, what to give after just as I've shared they will also be able to recommend uh, anything to you and of course whatever they recommend you it just means well for your flock so there is a guy this marks an end of our day 7 vlog and uh, I hope this has been insightful and now you know why you need to vaccinate your chicks within the first seven days of life. Don't fall into a mistake of uh, 
of forgetting. Always ensure you mark it in your calendar, especially if you're bringing in your day or cheese. And every time, if you do this, you can always be assured you're going to minimize the level of mortality. If you don't do this and mortality happens, then you'll only have yourself to bring. So that is it, guys. Bye. Uh, see you in the next vlog.